Senator, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me. Um, so Bernie's back, right? Bernie's back. <laughs> <laughs> you, you seem to have like renewed energy. Is, is there a new approach to your campaign? Well, I think one of the reasons I may have renewed energy is I'm functioning now with three healthy arteries and not one that is blocked. So that's a big help. Uh, but I am feeling great and we're off and running and we're going to be all over Iowa and New Hampshire and around this country with a very vigorous campaign. Some polls put you in second place, some polls put you in, in third place. And basically you and Senator Warren are talking to the same voters with very similar ideas. So what's the difference between you and Senator Elizabeth Warren? Well, in my view, uh, the situation in this country today is so dire. Uh, the power of the corporate elite is so strong. The corruption is so significant that we need a political revolution in this country. And I think that uh, regulatory reforms is good, but it is not enough. And if we are going to deal with the level of income and wealth inequality, if we're going to deal with immigration, if we're going to deal with the need to guarantee health care to all people, we have got to be prepared to take on the billionaires who have so much power over the economic and political life of this country. And to do that, we need a political revolution. We need millions of people to stand up and say, enough is enough. We cannot have a handful of wealthy campaign contributors controlling this country. We need a government that works for all people, not the few. So you don't think Senator Warren can well, wake up all millions of people? Well, I'll let Senator Warren speak for herself. She does that very well. All I can tell you is that what we are trying to do is not only defeat Donald Trump, the most dangerous president in American history, we're trying to transform our economy and our government and take power away from the few and give it to the working families of this country. Now, is, is she playing fair by saying that she will push your Medicare for all if she becomes president, but she, she refuses to say that she would increase taxes to the middle class? Look, this is what I believe. What I believe is we have got to end the absurdity of the United States being the only major country on earth not to guarantee health care to all people. Mm -hmm. We've got to end the absurdity where we are spending twice as much per person on health care as any other major country, also that the health care industry, the drug companies and the insurance companies can make a hundred billion dollars in profit. And what I believe is we should over a four year period expand Medicare to cover everybody. That means no more premiums, no more co-payments, no more out-of-pocket expenses. Healthcare is covered by the general tax base. So what that means is that for the average American, that person will be paying significantly less mm -hmm. for healthcare than they are right now. Okay. Now, it seems that part of your strategy as a campaign is to increase voter participation, right? That's right. Why is it, I, I know it's important in general, but why is it very important to your campaign? I'll tell you why. Right now, you have a Congress that is, to a significant degree, controlled by big money interests. And if we are going to change that, and if we're going to have a government that works for all people, the only way that happens is when millions of people, young people, working people, Latinos, African Americans, people get involved in the political process in a way that we have never seen before. Because if that does not happen, the people who will continue to have the power are wealthy campaign contributors and their super PACs. So if we want to do the work of working families, health care for all, raising the minimum wage to a living wage, climate change, transforming our energy system, people have got to jump into the political process. Now, how do you make Latinos to get out and vote? Because we're famous for not going out and voting. Well, I would, we are working very hard just on that issue. I think the issues that many people in the Latino community feel strongly about are exactly the issues that we are fighting for. And that means comprehensive immigration reform, uh, making sure that on my first day in office, the 1.8 million young people in the DACA program get back their legal rights, a humane border policy. But also, it's not just immigration. The Latino people are struggling with low wages. We're going to raise that minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. We're going to make public colleges and universities tuition free. Education is very important in the Latino community. We're going to cancel all student debt. We're going to provide health care to all. We're going to deal with climate change, which is actually a very big issue within the Latino community. 
So I think the ideas that we are talking about will attract a lot of folks in the Latino community, and I hope they come on board our campaign. Thank you very much, Senator. Hey, good to see you again. Nice seeing you. Thank very you. Very nice seeing you. Donald Trump comenzará a discutir una nueva regla que ordenará recolectar muestras de ADN de los inmigrantes detenidos por las autoridades, para así recopilar la información en una base.